cold is the most infectious disease that affects humans. It is a real distraction from everyday living. It is a leading cause to the visit to the doctor and miss days from work and school. Generally, adults have two to four colds per year, while children have six to ten colds a year. Cold can happen all the year around. What is a cold? It is a viral infection of the upper respiratory tract, basically your nose and up. There are about 200 viruses can cause a cold. That's why we do not have any vaccine against the cold. Common cold are highly contagious. A cold can enter your body through your nose or even through your eyes. It spreads via direct contact of contaminated objects with the virus which can survive for up to three hours outside the body, like hand-to-hand -hand contact or by touching shared objects, opening doors, using telephones, or even toys. Then if you touched your eyes or nose, you might have a cold. Misconception. Getting chilled or going outside with wet hair will not cause a cold, but in winter, the people tend more to cluster like in the daycare centers. Symptoms of a cold. You may have some of these, scratchy or sore throat, runny nose, watery or itchy eyes, sneezing, mild fatigue, cough or mild headache. With time, watery discharge is transferred into thick and yellow, maybe green in color. These are normal body response to the virus, which will gradually diminish and disappears after 7 to 10 days. The difference between cold and flu is that generally you won't have a really high fever, 38.3 Celsius degree or severe aches. Feel free to write some notes about how to get over a cold. Now, the treatment. Unfortunately, there isn't a treatment for common cold. Each symptom of a cold can be treated separately. If you have a scratchy or sore throat, you need to sore your throat by drinking warm lemon water with honey also relieves the cough. If you have a stuffy nose, use decongestants or antihistamine like diphenylhydramine, which also sleep aids, or topical saline products or nasal strips. Topical decongestants like nefazoline, phenylephrine, desoxyephrine, oxymetazoline. They are effective and safe to use with the children. Caution, use nasal decongestant for only three days to avoid worsening the congestion. Or a decongestant like phenylephrine or pseudephrine. Use in caution for a patient who has hypertension, diabetes, benign prostatic hyperplasia, hyperthyroidism, or narrow angle glaucoma. Never use them for the patient who are taking monoamine oxidase antidepressant drug, not for less than one year old. Topical saline products, they are safe for all ages. You can use nasal strips, which relieves the congestion and even decrease the snoring. They are safe for all ages. Now, how to treat the cough? If you have a productive cough, you need to increase water intake and guanfinicin expectorant, but it may cause nausea and some GI upset. While if you have a dry cough, you need to use dextromethorphan. Caution, do not use it for less than one year old. You can use by uh, inhaling steam hot water and menthol oil. Vitamin C has no beneficial effects against the cold. Instead, it may be dangerous if, uh, if when it is taken inappropriately. Zinc gluconate may cause permanent loss of, of smell, so do not use it. Antibiotics only kill bacteria. Since it is a viral infection, do not use antibiotics. For headache, use acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Do not use aspirin for children. If you have mild fatigue, get some rest. Resting allows the body to fully combat the cold virus. Do not miss to drink fluids. Suffering from a cold, the body becomes more dehydrated, so drink 8 glasses of water a, uh, a day so water can strengthen the immune system. Now, when to call the doctor?
you have one of these symptoms, you need to call your doctor. The symptoms lasting for more than a week without any improvement. If the fever is greater than 38.5 Celsius degree, accompanied by chills and sweating, coughing a phlegm or blood, difficulty in breathing, ear infection, especially in, in the children, you may have a, a, an ear infection. Here's some example. So this drug contains chlorophenidamine, which releases the nasal congestion, and dextromethorphan, which is a cough suppressant. So this drug uh, is effective if you have nasal congestion and cough not to use for less than one year old. This drug contains phenidamine and phenylephrine, both release nasal congestion, and it contains astaminophen for the headache. So this drug will be more effective if you have headache and congestion. Warning, do not use it if you are taking any antidepressant drug uh, and ask your doctor before to use if you have any uh, blood disease, uh, thyroid disease and so on. So how to get over or prevent this, the common cold? You need to wash your hands using soap and water or use if you do not have H2O then use alcohol-based gel. Use tissue. Always sneeze and cough into tissues. Remember, do not touch your face, especially eyes and nose. Use these tips to prevent or get over a cold. Do not let a cold keep you down and keep your eyes on your symptoms to make sure that you do not uh, get worse. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Eat well, drink fluids, sleep sound. Health awareness is my role. Your health is my concern. Subscribe for more videos, Medicine Expert.